lads and lassies, gents and girls, males and missuses, females and the, the, the other ones. <laughs> Welcome to this here weekly news, I'm David and this is Toby. Pleasantries aside, there's anger from the Moyang team as Jacob announces similarities between himself and a camel, Tobias protests against the lack of confectionery, and Notch realises that some people's humour glands were extracted at birth. Ooh. Halloween has been and gone, but as always it leaves behind it a trail of scary stuff like a haunted ship. For instance, this scariest screenshot competition, which Mojang puts out a week before Halloween, has been judged and settled. The winning screenshot was this creepy looking mansion, but there are plenty of other spooky screenshots to grab our attention, like this dying zombie, this ominous cave, the fiery enderman, and of course the threat of the creeper. The winner of this competition received a foam pickaxe signed by the Mojang team, so if you didn't submit, I bet you're kicking yourself now. I actually took a terrifying screenshot, but didn't get to submit it in time. What was it? Oh, it was this. Toby, that's that's my face. Ugh. From screenshot winners to artsy winners, the recent second Facebook cover image contest went off amazingly, with a party crashing Facebook-like lighting entry from Zeldak. The runners-up work features on the blog post too, and with any luck, they will soon feature on the Minecraft Explorer Pro app that we referenced just last week. The links to get a closer look reside below. If you remember, many moons ago we talked about Mojang working with UN Habitat to bring about their block by block initiative. Well, in the past couple of days, Lydia and Vu have travelled out to Nairobi in Kenya to see the country, the neighbourhood that is the centre for their first initiative, Kaibera, and hold the press conference on the project, complete with in-game awesomeness from Fire UK. We'll keep bringing this project up because it's fantastic, that's why. Now, from changing lives to changing lives, a couple of weeks ago we talked about the Minecraft XBLA charity skin pack. This pack of a whopping 55 skins for your Minecraft XBLA come with capes, and that's not even the coolest thing about them. 100% of the proceeds from this bumper pack are going to charity, and so far an incredible half a million dollars has been raised. And with another two weeks of sale, the raising of one million dollars does not seem too far-fetched. If you haven't bought a charity skin pack yet, go to the link below to do so. There's a weekly chunk for our eyes this week, the Mojang blog must be tied out with other postings. Within it, there's a survey on sensible things, such as what platform we typically play Minecraft on, and then there's a question on silly things, such as what Jeb has in his ponytail. I can't wait to see the results of this survey soon. Go fill out funny stuff, folks, we did. In the aftermath of the massive 1.4.2 update of a couple of weeks ago, the Mojang team are working hard at bug fixing and small changes. A 1.4.3 update was projected to be released, but a couple of problems popped up, so instead we have the 1.4.4 pre-release ready for a hopeful client update next week. With minor bug fixes to squids, torches, chickens and more, there have been no additions, but things like torches swapping walls and impossible vertical swimming make life really difficult, so we're here for bug fixes. Hopefully we'll see these changes along with 1.4.4 next week. This is a public service announcement that previously reported on Minecraft gift cards are available now in stores throughout the United States of the Americas. This means a physical card with the unlock code on it, which when entered into the correct redeem field will grant you the game. Unfortunately us Brits can't buy these cards yet, as with the rest of the world, but the hope is still there for more availability in the future. Huzzah! Exciting news in the world of the Pocket Edition this week as update 0.5.0 is submitted for release. This means, all going well, we'll see the update on our mobiles by mid-November. What makes this exciting is that for the first time since Blue Flowers, Pocket Edition has something that vanilla Minecraft doesn't, nether reactors. Sure, they're just cubes of obsidian, but it's still exciting. Along with the blocky black box, there's paintings, mushroom farming, melons, glowstone and more. If you're a practitioner of Pocket Minecraft, keep your socks on till mid-November and then you'll be happy. Finally, in the Scrolls world, there's been a call out for your computer screens. That's right, with all the awesome updating that's been happening in Scrolls, the media section is looking awfully outdated. The solution? To get alpha players to send in high resolution screenshots showing something cool in the game, like David's Times 4 Destruction Win when practicing. For where to send them and more information, click the link below. Another link you might want to check is the Scrolls Facebook page, which is now up and running. Do your funky Facebook stuff all over the page, and if you're seriously desperate for news, then hit the Scrolls fan website and active forums. Yet another link that's found below. And now it's the end, but if your name is Harry, then have this free answering machine message. Hello, this is Harry. I'm not in right now, but please leave a message at the tone. Beep. And with that, it really is the end. Click this bit right here for last week's news and you could wait around a bit and then click here for next week's news. If you do want more news and stuff then head over to our Facebook page and as always don't forget to subscribe here for more fancy words and pictures and stuff. Good night.